All right, Baltimore Mike coming to you with a test booster from KJ Labs, test battery. This is something new. I normally do pre-workout reviews. Now, KJ Labs is the one that had like the hottest pre-workout of the summer, um, Smash. I think Smash AMF, it's, uh, it, it's still like the really fucking hot. So they're a really small company, according to the website, all they have is Smash, and then they have the test booster, I don't know if they come out with anything else, but um, they're really hitting the fucking market hard with like serious fucking like serious shit. Smash is like hands down one of crazier high stem products out there. All right. So if you know anything about test boosters, 99% of them don't work. They're usually like the biggest garbage on the market. Uh, was it eugenics or whatever that uh, you can, you see all the commercials for with like the baseball players and stuff. Expensive garbage at that. 70, 80 bucks, nothing, nothing at all. Um, so what got, so I got, they, they actually sent this over to me when I got um, some other, some the uh, Smash samples. So I'm like, oh, a test boost, I haven't done this in years. Um, it's pretty expensive. It's like, I went to their site, it's like 70 bucks. And the difference with this was, as soon as I took it, the next fucking morning, I took it like in the afternoon, next morning, woke up with a fucking hard on, a serious hard on. Um, I'm not saying that never happens, but I'm 52. It don't happen that often. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen for no reasons. You know, um, just to wake up like a fucking teenager with your fucking, your, your dick, like you had, you know, I didn't even, I couldn't even walk through the house because my you know, shit, whatever. <laughs> Let's get over that. But that was different. Um, it's, so I don't even know what to attribute to you. I mean, you know, it's got a huge list of ingredients here. It's got like all these like trendy things like corny goat wheat, Tongat Alley. Now, if you know anything about Tongat Alley, that was the one that uh, on Joe Rogan's podcast, he had Dr. Huberman, who's like a Stanford doctor, who says there's a few products that actually can naturally raise your testosterone. Um, and Tongat Alley and, was one of them. And he had like, the, like his, whatever, some stuff that research like that proves it or whatever. And then, so then there's like all these other things, like, I mean, seriously, there's like 20 ingredients in here. So again, I looked at it with like, you know, most, most people my age are either doing straight up TRT, which is actual real testosterone, fake though. I don't want to say real, it's, you know, it's made pharmaceutical grade or whatever. It's either through a shot or there's like uh, creams and shit that they put on and stuff. Um, and then the only way you can really judge this stuff is to get your, your, uh, your test numbers measured. You get blood work done, and then you know it's a whole long. I can do a whole long video. I'm sure you've seen a million of these videos about TRT, and um, TRT is great. But of course, if you could do it naturally, why would you not want to do it naturally? Like that would be pretty awesome too. Um, or even to add it to your TRT, because most people can't even get a doctor to prescribe you a reasonable amount. They always want to fucking. No one wants to do it. You're a 52 year old man. Naturally, your testosterone levels have decreased over all the years, all the millions of fucking things you've done, and they don't want to prescribe it to you. Yet, if you're a 15-year-old teenager who decided that they want to change their gender, they would pro prescribe it to you no problem. But that's another story. I'm not trying to get too political, but it is fucked up. Anyway, back to this. Um, so I've been taking it for two weeks. That's why I kind of held off on doing a review of it yet. To see how you know how I feel like over <coughs> over the course of time. And besides the short-term effects, <coughs> the libido effects. I just think I feel really, really good. Now, nothing else. Now, it's hard to like attribute it directly to this. Of course, I take like the best protein. Of course, I take creatine and uh, you know all kinds of other things and stuff. But this was I've always. I mean, I've been taking those things for a while. So you know, if there's a baseline and I add this to the baseline, I feel really good. I mean, just really feeling strong in the gym, good workouts, good pump, and everything. So, I mean, I got to hand it to them. I don't know what, you know, KD Lab, I don't, I don't know what the deals with this. I tried to look up reviews online. I haven't really found much feedback about this product at all. There's no YouTube videos that I can find. I think this is like the first one. There's a million videos of the Smash pre-workout from KD Labs. I mean, a million, Every, everyone had it covered because it, it was the, I mean, the video I did for it got 1.5 thousand views, which is pretty fucking solid. Like if I can do that every once a week, I would, you know, things will go very well. But KJ Labs, they're, I mean, I think it's like a Texas-based brand. They do have an Instagram page. I would follow them if I were you. I mean, they're, they're um, I don't know, man, they're coming up with some of the killer shit. So 
test battery, check it out. Um, I'm gonna continue to take it and um, it, it tastes like shit, even though it's pills. There's, it, like as soon as you open up, it smells bad and stuff. Maybe that's the horny goat weed, some fucking stink ass horny goat weed. But hey, well, if the shit fucking works, I'll eat shit. I mean, most gym bros, if the shit fucking worked, I would fucking, I would, I would do anything. Even Garage Gym Homie could get a hard on off this. That's a joke for GDH. If you ever did watch a video, he, he always makes some kind of fucking funny jokes about the PP effects. But um, all right, I'm all cranked up on Smash anyway. So check it out. Bottom of mic.